Hello, beautiful multiverse family. Uh, today I want to talk about the vial fermion. It was predicted by a physicist named Harman Weil, a German physicist, and it is uh, the only massless fermion. Um, it could, has potential to travel a thousand times faster than an electron, two thousand times faster than an electron in uh, graphene. But electrons also travel faster in graphene. So not 100% sure how those mathematics work, but the important thing is the vial fermion could revolutionize uh, computers and electronics, bring in a new uh, kind of electronics called uh, vialtronics, uh, way faster and more efficient. It could revolutionize the medical field, save a lot of lives, uh, solve a lot of problems, and do a lot of really amazing things. Um, my objective uh, is to inspire all of us to come back every day smarter than we were yesterday, um, keep pushing our limits intellectually and athletically. Um, the vial fermion was discovered in a uh, tan tantalum arsenide crystal. Um, it's hosted in a tantalum arsenide crystal and um, it's a quasi-particle. Now, a quasi-particle is a quantum of energy in a crystal lattice or other system of bodies that has a position and momentum and in some respects can be regarded as a particle, even though it doesn't um, occur like outside of the crystal naturally. But uh, it still can be used. It's still the uh, vial fermion, uh, massless fermion. Now, atoms are made out of fermions and bosons. Uh, some of the difference are, differences are a, uh, a boson has a full integral, integral spin, and a fermion has a half integral spin. Um, and a fermion is like an electron, proton, or neutron, um, all of those things. And a boson is a force-carrying particle, like a photon, which carries out the force of electromagnetism, or a theoretical graviton, if they exist, or a, uh, or a gluon that holds the quarks together, that's also a boson, or a... Um, uh, vector boson, which causes uh, nuclear decay, uh, particles to decay into different particles. Um, those are all bosons. Now, uh, vial fermions, the first massless fermion, and also it exists as uh, matter and antimatter simultaneously, which makes it really unique in a whole lot of ways, uh, really useful for the next level of science. Um, and as far as I know, this is, I'm the first YouTube video to say what kind of crystal hosts a vial fermion. There was a video on it that said it was hosted in a crystal, but the kind of crystal you heard it first from Matt Horwich on YouTube is a tantalum arsenide crystal. Now, um, it's been said by all the scientists and smart people, but this is the first time it's been said on YouTube. So that's, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And God bless the multiverse. And I'm really thankful for Chad, Chad Huxley and Steve Chen and Jawad Kareem, uh, former PayPal employees that invented YouTube, sold it to Google for about one and a half billion dollars because Google could expand it a whole lot more. Chad Huxley or Chad Hurley. I got to look at uh, the right name on that one. Um, but either way, I'm a lot smarter than I was yesterday. And my intelligence is growing every day. And uh, I have unlimited learning capabilities. And we all have that and can tap into it and do great things and build a better future with smart material and wise investments. Um, I plan on coming home, working hard to double my savings and uh, wait for the next recession and stock market crash to buy the stocks when they're down. And a lot of wealth can be made in a recession. So everyone research that, save up for it and uh, make good investments. Um, money isn't the most important thing, but it can be a vehicle to do a lot of good. I think if it's used right for orphans and getting farms, growing organic food and good education and People listen to you a lot more about vile fermions and doing good things and believe a lot more in the limitless potential and that you might be able to show 
know some things on what you're saying that they can apply when you have money and wealth. Um, but the greatest hero that ever lived and uh, greatest champion, a hero of heroes, uh, Jesus didn't need money to do great things. But those who work hard will have great wealth and those who work hard will be leaders and get what they want in life and learn something new every day. And those who are lazy and make excuses won't. So that's an important bit of wisdom in life. And it's good once you decide you want something to be obsessed with it and determined and to make it happen. And that's all. That's good wisdom, no doubt. Um, all things are possible to them who believe with uh, if they're willing to put the hard work in. Um, that's about the best stuff I got to say right now for the next YouTube video. Um, I hope it inspires everyone to do great things and come back better every day, athletically, intellectually, and spiritually. No one's perfect, but if we keep giving it our best shot, man, we can achieve some really great things. Um, all right, now I'm going to wrap it up on that. God bless and give your best, and I wish everyone a great year of doing great things and good prosperity. I know anything good's possible.